may have seen the video already. I don't know how I'm actually gonna upload these things because it's been far too long since I was supposed to start uploading actually. But here we are. <laughs> I decided to wear this jumper. <laughs> Along with a skirt and uh, a care bear type. Um, <laughs> that you may have seen a video on already because this is technically like two jumpers like all kind of mod podge together and then I also did the ears on this hat but yeah anyway so I had studio today this is lunchtime so I still have to go in for TPM and it's really started raining so I'm probably still gonna take this with me because the studios are freezing so I'm thinking I'm gonna take my longer tan jacket to help protect this and then see I'm tempted to put on some different leggings or something because these tights <laughs> They say to like wash them before you use them because obviously like the dye, sometimes there's excess dye, but um, I haven't and if they go out in the rain I, I, I don't want them to get ruined but at the same time I still want to wear them because <laughs> I pay for them. Uh, I think I'm still going to wear them but I'll just put the long jacket on and I'll just put my hood up and I'll take these uh, this hat with me to just wear at the studio because this is warm, like really warm. So I'm, I'm fine like with this on. I have like a vest on underneath this because um, it is kind of see-through. So <laughs> for my project, I've, I've printed out a bunch of these shapes and I have some paper that's already like been painted on and stuff like that. I'm gonna use these to create shapes with them. So I might also just use this and just keep it white as well. Oh, I need to cut my fringe. Yeah, I might just keep it white as well. So I'll see how that goes. I think my plan's gonna be I'm gonna go through, I'm going to wash up my plates and my mug and all of that, get that all washed and dried and back into places. Then I'm going to go, actually, while that's happening, I'm going to make a hot chocolate that I'm gonna take with me up to the studio. And then I'm gonna come back in and get fully ready for studio. I think it's gonna be fun. I also need to um, post an Etsy order. Uh, which I got and I, I was gonna do it this morning, but then I forgot to take it so <laughs> I'm back here right now to go grab it. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in studio. It's definitely gonna be dark by the time I get come out because it's gonna be like I, nowadays it's four, it gets pitch black so <laughs> even if you leave like earlier than the timing is for then it's like yeah. At the same time I find though with studio there are certain elements that are better but then there are certain things that aren't. Mainly because like we while we're in studio, we still, yeah, like I'm finding a lot of stuff that I could do. I could do it outside the studio. I don't really need to do it in studio. The main reason I'd go in for studio now is either for the tutor's advice and the lighting. Because the lighting is pretty much good all, all day round. And you can pretty much go into the studio at like 8 o'clock at night. So if you desperately need it. But I try to avoid doing that. I try and get as many photos in studio while I'm there as I can, which usually does help. Um, which reminds me I need to take a photo of my sketchbook because I forgot to do that. But yeah, I'm so glad I can start wearing this stuff because like a lot of stuff I have, it's like it needs to be cold. It needs to be cold outside for me to wear it because it's too warm. And a lot of stuff I do like wearing is very warm stuff. So <laughs> I'm glad it's getting to the point where I can properly wear a lot of stuff and not like be like boiling. But to be fair, it depends on what I'm doing because I, I find whenever I'm heading up <laughs> to the uni, I tend to like build up a lot of heat because I'm having to go like up a very steep hill so that's always fun but in terms of for tonight I'm not entirely sure <laughs> I think I want to try and organize my posts for social media because I have not been posting at all <laughs> which is annoying but you know I'm gonna try posting that soon and I'm gonna try as best I can to keep on top of it because I've got I've got a lot of work I have a lot of work that I could be posting but I'm just not posting which is annoying but it's me. My procrastination is well above <laughs> what it should be. But then again, it's also allowed me to kind of like focus on stuff that I need to do for uni as well. It is definitely interesting to hear from people from other courses where like, particularly when like architecture, man, I've heard some of the stuff they have to do and it's like, that's for first year? Like, oh my god. It, it is kind of funny because it's like obviously our course is a general foundation so it's not because our course is structured general foundation and it's three years of a specialism I feel like general foundation they tend to go a lot easier on you <laughs> but maybe coming into specialisms they might be a lot harsher to be honest maybe coming into the next 
the second semester they might be harsher i'm not entirely sure i know there's an essay we have to do but that's about it <laughs> i just know that we have one and that we're going to get the question later on and that's really it so i don't i don't like how uneven reviews are <laughs> this is supposed to be straight <laughs> it's not and then this year is like further far away than this year but whatever is what it is yeah i'll see about maybe filming tonight i might film a bit tomorrow i know that i think we're having a student rep meeting tomorrow well student re reps reaps the student reaps the student reps are meeting tomorrow i believe we were supposed to meet on thursday but i think one person couldn't come and then we were like oh let's try a different day oh no two people couldn't go that's what it was hopefully we'll be able to meet up but we'll see because <laughs> it's that saturday so i don't know whether people are gonna do it or not <laughs> Ooh, I also need to plan the secret Santa thing. That's maybe what I'll do tonight, is I'll do the social media stuff and plan out what I'm gonna do for my secret Santa thing. I've still got a while left to go for it, but I'm thinking if I can kind of plan it out and maybe do the prep work, because my plan is to do one of those ones which has like the white border around it. <laughs> Arguably, I could just cut it out and then stick it onto an A5 or whatever, but it doesn't matter. But I, I've heard that if you, Prime with paint first, and you don't just put the masking tape or washi tape or whatever onto the canvas straight as it is, or the paper or whatever, then it doesn't peel. Then the paper doesn't peel. <laughs> no, then the actual, like, you know, it won't ruin the paper. Because I find often that if it's just on paper, like, it'll kind of peel up, which is really, really annoying. Even if it's like washi tape, which isn't as strong as masking tape, I found. So, I don't know. I think it's just. You know, I might do something like that and put that down first, but I'll see what I end up doing, how I end up doing it. I have a couple of ideas what I could do, but so far it's kind of like, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I'll do that tonight and kind of over the weekend, just because I kind of would like to get a little bit ahead on it. Because um, I know that the 10th is kind of the deadline, but that's when everything gets handed out, so you kind of want it done like on the 9th or whatever. And to be honest, I would kind of like to get it done maybe before the last Friday of this project so I can just head in quickly and then drop it off and it'd be done, but whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna go organize my stuff and get ready to leave with everything I want to leave with, <laughs> basically. Alright, okay, so <laughs> there was gonna be a meeting with the student reps today, but half of them can't make it, so we've moved it again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to do it. I would like to really go in and like kind of meet people. I've suggested Monday for lunchtime because even though Studio A will be in on Monday, I was thinking if we do it at lunchtime, that still gives us about, depending on the time that they actually leave for lunch, it could be a couple hours, it could be an hour and a half, it could be an hour. It would give us some time to meet up and chat and stuff like that. And also because it's in the lair, they can also get lunch there too. So it should be fine. Yeah, so I think, I think that's gonna happen on Monday now. We'll have to wait and see what everyone else says because one person's been like, yeah, sure. <laughs> but we'll see about the rest of them. Um, I was just listening to a talk about the second semester. It's a recording, so I was just listening to it again. But I basically just didn't catch the bit where he talked about the second or the final project because I wasn't entirely sure what that was. But it seems like it's like you choose whatever specialism you want to go into and then you do a project on that specialism is basically it. So even though you've probably technically already done one of the specialisms in your like first two blocks it's i suppose it's a way to help kind of build a portfolio for that specialism because you still need to like you don't necessarily need to like submit a portfolio but you do need to like your work that you create is your portfolio so i think they just look over all of it i don't think it's like a, you have to submit a final presentation you might have to in general in the assessment and they just might look at the assessment like they're doing for this these first three ones which i imagine is going to be the case but no, we'll see. <laughs> so originally my plan was today I was going to be heading out to the thingy but I messaged <laughs> like an hour before we were going to meet up and it was like are we going to meet up or not because I could totally get past it or I could not <laughs> and just like stay in. Apparently it was like we were in a red weather warning zone. I don't think anything really happened. <laughs> like I think over here we've been fine apparently where my mom is like there's been a couple of power cuts but yeah. I think we've been fine here. I don't know, maybe it's because it's such an open plane past this point that it doesn't really affect us or what. Yeah, so I think for today, I want to get this stuff kind of organized. Um, 
I might take a picture of just this actually at some point. We'll hold it all together and then I can just do that with the, the other side of it. But yeah, I think today I'm gonna work on that. I was gonna make all my dinner stuff tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna make it all tonight and have a bit of it tonight. And then on Sunday, depending on the time, depending on how I'm feeling, I might work back on the book again because I haven't really done too much with that. <laughs> just mainly because it's been a lot <laughs> of stuff going on. But I might work back into the book again, do some more life drawing, kind of do a bit of that. But I might leave that for Sunday. It depends on what I'm doing. I definitely want to get my presentation not finished, but the stages that I have finished. <laughs> so I want to... I think I'm pretty much over halfway. I think I might end up having just a few slides left, so I think I really need to decide on like what my final is going to be and like how that's going to turn out. I have a couple of ideas, but... I don't know whether one of them would be returning a bit too much to what I've already done and then just be like, oh, every whole project is just one thing I've already developed. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I've got an idea. I've got a couple of ideas. Yeah, I'll have to choose that later. I put my lights up again. I haven't really been putting them on for the past couple of weeks, but now they've done that, so I've put them on for a while. I do love them. I love it when it's like really dark though. Um, because the pumpkins aren't really that light, but I just love the orange. <laughs> and then the ghosts are- I really like the ghosts being there because they kind of shine a bit of light around that corner. So I don't actually have to put on lights on if I need to. And then I have some lights over on the window. <laughs> Which actually I should probably show you. I really need to say like, hey I've got lights on the window. <laughs> there. I have them on like a flickering thing right now. Um, but yeah, you can't really see them because the window um but yeah you can see them in there like that sort of thing <laughs> but anyway um i think that's probably going to be the plan for tonight basically see how everything goes i definitely before monday i want my presentation pretty much finished because i have a lot of the photos already up and on there i just need to add in all the text but i think the way things are going to go for the next while in terms of like because right now it's a little bit up in the air as to like because we don't have to be in attendance for like the final two weeks of the semester i could technically go home a lot earlier but i don't know exactly when i'm gonna head home so definitely not next week <laughs> and then i think i'll be staying the week after that i think maybe on the 12th or the 13th or any point really during that week i might be heading home just mainly because why not <laughs> Like technically our holidays are from the 17th to the 17th, so it's like a full month. But we don't have to be in attendance, I don't think, from the 6th. I think the studios are still open, but it's not a uh, you have to be there in, on these certain days sort of thing. I think it's just if you need it to work on your project. So I don't think I'll really need to because I think a lot of my physical stuff is perfectly fine. It's mainly just the presentation and comments on my first presentation which is the one I need to I think is the one I actually need to change stuff for is mainly about research for the artists specifically and repetitiveness of the images so there's more about putting in more text and editing down images so it's not quite I need to get more images <laughs> so but who knows maybe but actually no for this project I don't think we get any sort of feedback for it. I think once we submit this project that's it in for the for the final assessment as well so I don't know we'll have to wait and see <laughs> I think we get our grade for this module though I think on the 17th so the day that we're kind of like finished uni is for the first semester of uni then we then go I think I think that's how it's gonna go down <laughs> so yeah I might be staying a little bit longer I don't know I think a lot of stuff would be staying down here I think a lot of stuff would be staying down here but I definitely think there's still a lot of stuff that I would be taking with me to go. <laughs> and yeah, my plan is over winter. I'm gonna like work on prints and stuff and work on my Etsy and maybe get some stuff up on YouTube. I don't know, cause <laughs> the way things are going, it probably won't be until next year I actually get stuff uploaded, but I kinda don't want to wait until next year. But at the same time, procrastination anxiety really is not a good combination. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you all later. <laughs> Um, and probably at that point I'll have a little bit more to show in terms of the project because it's really not a lot right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. Okie dokie. So. <laughs> right. So I just went out 
come out with a bunch of student reps. So as I said, I wanted the presentation done by basically today. It's not done, but most of it's kind of like organized and it just needs writing done. So I think my plan for today is try and get that fully finished and figure out what I want to be doing tomorrow and what I want to be doing on Wednesday. I have like some things, but I need to do some more because I have that. This, like this is just like a folded up one that isn't actually folded. And then this is one that's actually folded and stuck down. So I'm gonna take photos of that, gather everything else that needs to take in photos. I'll take photos of that when I'm in tomorrow. Basically just organize stuff. I think that's gonna be the plan for today. Yeah, so I wore this, but um, I'm glad it's getting warm now because I'm inside, but um, it was good to meet some of the student reps. Like some of them I haven't really talked that much to. It wasn't everyone. Unfortunately, some people like were just not, we just weren't feeling well or weren't able to like come in today. So, so yeah, anyway, so plan is organized, do the presentation and then pretty much that's it. I don't have anything else to do today. So I think also tidying up. I was gonna bring, bring this boy along as well today, but unfortunately like, I brought my iPad because I was thinking of like talking about how we were wanting to do that presentation thing but I completely forgot to talk about it so hopefully later on we can fully sit down and kind of talk about that but yeah <laughs> see you later okay went into studio today apparently they were going to be doing some filming but like I don't know whether they did it while we were away or whether and I don't know maybe they did it when I wasn't paying attention it's entirely possible but um I put some work up on the wall but then I just kind of like taking it down because I would rather have it all with me than leave it up particularly because I think it's I don't know it looks like we do studio tomorrow <laughs> I'm sure it looks like we do have access to studio tomorrow but still I think I'm just gonna stay here to be honest and work I know what I'm doing before my final now <laughs> I'm a lot more set on that so today just did a few things made a crane added wings to it took photos of the stuff that I'd made previously I think I'm definitely going to be going in on Friday so I can get the rest of my stuff taken photos of. Um, but my plan is hopefully on Thursday finish up making whatever I'm going to make. Take photos if I desperately need to take photos before I do anything to it. And then just work on the presentation and hopefully get it to the point where on Friday I'm mostly just taking photos, adding them into the presentation and finalising that. So I can get that uploaded as soon as possible. Then I'm going to go back and work on my first presentation. <sighs> because I've been told to but like basically asked for clarification and um we just got back if necessary <laughs> the parameters of necessary are very wide <laughs> like you could literally say oh it's only necessary if you're told to or it's only necessary like if you don't get a passing grade so I I don't know like because the way ours is marked it's not marked like a, oh you pass or you fail or this is your estimated grade like we get mm, feedback but it's like not a overall grade so i don't know i've been told like i can leave my second one because that's fine because the only thing she said to really change about it would be the links but the links in that one i only added because i was told to <laughs> i think i said it before i only added it because i was told to and it wouldn't take that long to fix but she said it wasn't actually like taken away from it so i don't need to do that so it would only be the first one that i'm working on but if i can get that done before the weekend that'd be grand then I'm going to work on the Secret Santa thing, which reminds me I need to put in the group chat to ask if the studios are actually going to be open or not because I don't think the studios are going to be open and I don't know if it's a case of oh DJ CAD will be open but the studios will be locked or if it's a case of we can keep that studio open or what so we might need to move the actual box for it. To be honest we could literally just say we could do like a meetup thing where it's like everyone just comes to the same place with their stuff but I mean we'll see how everything goes. <laughs> It's a cool idea, but I think it's just like, we need to focus on, or we need to like, make sure we're not gonna end up with a box that's in a locked room that's like, no one can get access to. So, as the plan is to do it for next week, end of next week, but I think the majority of people will be around still by that point. Or to, to do the hand, I should say. I wanna go get boba at lunch. I got the peach, honey peach oolong tea with peach boba which is actually it's really nice. I did ask for it hot, but it was kind of warmish rather than like hot, but that might have just been a mistake, which is whatever. So yeah, I done all the stuff in the studio. I have a bunch of, a bunch of nets that I need to paint and then kind of like stick together and sort all out. So I need to do that. And then I need to go ahead and start on what my final's gonna end up being. Because I think that as of right now, I have, I could arguably take this idea further, 
but I think I really I'd prefer to do my other idea or at least I can easily chuck that away and then really quickly do this other idea because it's not going to take too long but yeah so my plan is to tidy up a bit then paint the nets and then fold them together and stick them together and all that sort of stuff and then pretty much that's it for today so yeah see you later <laughs> Okay, it's been a minute since I filmed. I'm trying to remember what I was doing last time. I think I ended up doing a lot of stuff in between. Oh, I must have filmed on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I did a few things. I don't quite remember exactly what. I have done my final, which I'm not gonna lie, not the best thing in the world. I'm also not entirely sure if I completed the brief, mainly because I was so focused on just doing my idea and also the fact that like none of the lecturers who talked to me ever said oh hey you haven't done this thing but from what the brief says I was supposed to be focusing on another thing as well because it was colour and the word and I've been focusing way more on colour I have done a couple of pieces that focus on like words and stuff but I, I don't know whether it's going to be enough so I feel like they might be like oh you didn't really look at this enough they might be like oh that's fine <laughs> who knows and i don't i don't know if we get like a feedback sheet i'm not entirely sure i'll need to check again and make sure if we do need to do a feedback sheet because i would like one to be fair but I, i'm not sure whether we're gonna do it i know that on the 17th we get to find out what our grade is for i think each of the modules and then overall for the semester but i don't it, it was like a very kind of like basic grid of like c3 b2 <laughs> and then like e four or something when I did not see four C three again or something. And it was those three grades and it was the average of those grades. So I don't know. I don't know. And um, I'll have to make sure and check. Because if there isn't one on the if there isn't a feedback sheet on the third assignment page, then we won't need to do one because, you know, why would we need to do one when we're gonna get it at the end as our final assessment anyway, so if it's there, I'll do it. If it's not, then I know it's because it's like they do a different one for each one or something. I don't think it's like 100% different, but I think there's enough of a difference that they or they want to differentiate it more. I don't know. I just know there's like it's not just been the same one you use over and over. Like you use a different one. Yeah. So today I've mostly just been photographing my finals and final things, doing the presentation. <laughs> I've got most of it half it done anyway. This is the final slide, so I just need to write a bunch of stuff on that. Then I need to measure all this stuff that I have in the corner and go from there. I'm not gonna lie, I do have another idea of a final that I could do, but I think what I'd want to do would warrant more slides. <laughs> like, I think the idea that I have, I think I need to be able to push this project more. Like, if I had another week, I'd be doing that as my final, but I, I don't have time for it. And I'm, I'm happy enough with the final that I have. Just thinking about this other thing, I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Which, I'm not gonna lie, was the same for the last project. It's so annoying when you have an idea at the end of your project and you're like, that would've been cool to do. I wish I'd known that earlier so I could actually like start doing that at a more appropriate time when it wasn't like, now it's time to do the final slide. But I mean, it is what it is. Like I can either do it on my own or try and wedge it into a project later on, who knows? Yeah, so I think my plan is literally just get this finished. I could technically do my first, just quickly edit my first module um, PowerPoint because my tutor did say, talk about like editing that and doing that one. I did say, oh, should I do that one and not the second one? Um, and she said, yeah, that's just do the first one. So, but from what I've been told, it seemed like unless you have Okay, so <laughs> I need a bit of context. For my first module, I only got 1D, which is not actually that bad. <laughs> when it comes to the SQA, like a D is a fail. But when it comes to university, or specifically the University of Dundee, a D is like a pass. It's, it's just a pass. Like, it's pretty much the equivalent of C, but a C <laughs> at university <laughs> is actually like fairly good. Like, it's good work. Because an A is like perfect. And then a B is like really good work, like that sort of thing. And so the majority of people sit in a C band sort of area, which I mean is perfectly fine, like that's good work. <laughs> but it's like a D and then it's like other things. <laughs> yeah, it's like a D and then it's like M and U. I know it's definitely M because someone was saying on the Discord, like, oh, if you've got M's, then you should think about changing it. But <laughs> I, I think that's the thing that I'm a little bit like confused on because it's like my first module. 
it's only got that one D, which is just like a pass. It's not like a fail. Obviously these are not like, they could change, but they did say it was unlikely that it would drastically change. It's probably going to be around about that. So I don't know. <laughs> I could do it. It wouldn't take me long to do. Um, I think I'd only need to do three or four things and I could probably do it in, if I didn't procrastinate and I didn't <laughs> like end up doing other things, it would take me like an hour to do it. It wouldn't take me that long to do it. So I could do it. I'm just not entirely sure yet. <laughs> so the plan for tonight is I'm gonna get this slide done. <laughs> I'm going to name it properly because right now it's just named module three, but it needs to be named with your name and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna go through the uh, module page, check, make sure there's not a feedback thing or anything else that I need to do. Then I'm gonna quickly look over my first module presentation and I'm gonna just look at all the things I need to do for that. I might write a quick list if there's a few things I need to do and get a hot chocolate and then go to bed. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. And then tomorrow, I think tomorrow I will do the edits on the first module thing. I'm gonna tidy up my room and I'll maybe try and film a little bit more, more tomorrow because I haven't really been filming too much. Oh, and I'll go through the slides tomorrow and I'll do that film bit then. Then I can do a few other things but I'll talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna go get this presentation done. Shouldn't take too long. It's just my like, procrastination. Ugh, I don't really want me to do anything else other than that. Because once I have done the presentation, submitted them, technically also done the A5, I'm pretty much finished with the first semester. I've still got other things to do, like the Secret Santa thing, which I haven't actually put up with, so I can't still. Um, and a few other things as well, but let's do So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and yeah. Okay. All right, so I said I would do it yesterday, <laughs> but I ended up staying in bed most of the day and then finishing off the last slide and then uploading it. So yeah, I'm doing it just now when I have like half an hour before I need to go to someone because we're going to go bake cookies. <laughs> I know there'll be other people there, but I don't like how many other people. I think it's two or three. But yeah, we're gonna do that. And then tonight, I'll see what time I get back. Because if I get back at a good time, I might do some more tidying up. I just basically cleaned up my desk, really. I technically could edit my first project, but it seems like the consensus is don't edit it unless, like, there's a lot you need to change. Like, the only reason I'd be changing it is because it's got one D for the research which arguably I would change. It's b basically a D is like a pass, so it's not that big of a deal. You know, the rest of it's sitting fairly good. Like, I'm not complaining. And they did say that like, while these weren't like your actual grades, like they probably weren't gonna change that much. So I think I'm sitting fairly pretty with what, I'm, what I have right now, which is perfectly fine for me. This project, I don't know if I 100% completed the brief I think I looked too much at one thing because it was like color and the word but I think I ended up looking a lot more at color than word but I did kind of you know check a few word things in there because I'd rather have some in there than not have any do I do my normal pink or do I try it this orange because normally with my pink I'll use these two things I'll mainly use the blush and then a pink that's in the, the red velvet palette but I'm <laughs> I'm tempted to try out these two, which would be the peach one, which is more orange, and then that kind of orangey color in here. I might do that actually. First, I need to do eyeliner, and I need to go through to the bathroom for that. For some reason, I can't do it anywhere else other than that. I just don't know why. Because it's an hour 50 minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah, so the entire point of this project was to look at color, and as they were doing the presentation, they were kind of talking about color in terms of color in terms of how it's used like in movies and stuff like that so I was like ooh maybe I could do that and one movie that I know that uses really strong color is Suspiria by Dario Argento so I was like okay I'll have a look at that that's where it kind of started off and obviously red and blue I think there is like a scene with green in it I think maybe I can't remember I, I, I mainly know it from a review so and yeah I know it from a review so I was like okay well I'll still do this one and I'll see, you know, how it ends up looking. So yeah, I mainly looked, obviously the red and the blue and the purple and I included two screenshots. God, 
remember I'm gonna have it up here. I included two screenshots of the movie. Kind of two bits that I kind of like caught my eye. Mainly the one where she's standing in the doorway, like it's very, very separated, like red and blue. But then the one with the taps, that one is very kind of like kind of blurred in terms of like creating purple. So I was kind of looking at that. And anyway, I looked at those two colors first. I just kind of did a bunch of different things just to try and like experiment with it, see how it ended up looking. I used mainly like watercolors and acrylics mainly to try and just play about with the color, you know, mixing it together, see how it would look sort of thing. And I did like experiments with the um, masking tape. Yeah, so I, I did that and I started off with just like the red and the blue and kind of mixing them together, making swatches and stuff like that. And then I kind of graduated to um, doing a bit more mixed work, like actually mixing the colours together and then putting them down rather than just like putting down straight from the tube for the most part. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted by you trying to do makeup. Um, but yeah, so I just like tried using different tools, scraping it off, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I just did two sketchbook pages and then I went on and did two A3s. I did one that was very, very kind of bold in colour. Again, sort of thinking of like scraping and stuff like that. And, you know, I waited for the thing to dry and then I added like another layer of another thing on top to kind of see the differences and kind of still keep that boldness in there. And then on the second one, I did it very watery and very kind of light and fluffy and all that sort of stuff. Now, this next bit I did add slightly layer in because I realised like, oh, I haven't done much on the board, but it fits in with what I was thinking for this slide. Um, and basically I was again just using, this time I used watercolour and acrylic rather than just the acrylic, which maybe I should have just done acrylic, but it doesn't matter. And I was just taking the words that I thought of, you know, when looking at the pieces and then kind of did variations of them and tried to kind of represent them with the colour and with the imagery and stuff was what I was doing with that. So that's basically what I did there. Um, I then did this piece on the bottom, wherever it is, the cloud piece that was done with watercolour. I did that one. Then I looked at, um, then I did a digital piece of that watercolour piece. And then I just kind of played about with a couple of digital things just to try and add some variation in as well. I quite like the pieces. And then obviously I found out that there was a cloud brush. So I was like, okay, I'll do something with that cloud brush, but I won't like, use it for the actual making the clouds because I wanted to give it a go myself just to try and like do it because clouds are very very hard to do so I have to just like give it a go see what happens. But overall I quite like those pieces to be fair. And the next one, obviously an artist inspiration as well, I just did a bunch of squares just looking at like different patterns and stuff and how they kind of like look together and just experimenting mainly. A lot of experimentation with this project, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of experimentation. Okay, yeah, so I did that and then I was thinking about squares and what I could do with those squares and then I was like, oh, we could do like origami. So I did a couple of origami pieces at the bottom with the watercolour and then there was the umbrella thing that I'd done before that I really wanted to like look at and do again. So I did one with making a bunch of watercolour squares and then folding them up. I used two different types of paper. I also stuck cotton balls to one of, the bottom of, one of them and tried to dye it with the watercolour but it didn't really so I was like, right, I'll just, you know, leave it there. But I thought the, the cotton balls actually looked kind of nice with it because it was kind of like fluffy, cloudy, which is what I was thinking about, you know, in terms of the watercolour, how that looks. And then also with spare pieces, I just basically stuck some of them together in a line and then I hatched one of them, like weaved uh, some of the strips together as well to kind of just experiment with it, really. And I went a little bit back into the experimentation and looking at coloured paper and paint on it this time so the kind of corner there is mostly just me experimenting with again dragging and scraping and all that sort of stuff and then the blue the red paper one is mainly just looking at the different types of blue and how they stand out because i was using kind of like a darker red paper so it wasn't it stood out a little bit but it wasn't like majorly like standard like whoa that's there sort of thing and then i did a piece on the bottom where i did a palette knife and just did these kind of blue and purple kind of like mixing with white and just kind of like texture piece and then I decided to put some washi tape over the top in the lines of the crane uh, or in the shape of the line drawing of a crane sort of thing and then I kind of did a wash of 
kind of, kind of like a more reddy purple so that red was still in there but it was more it definitely had blue in it i remember it definitely had blue so it wasn't just red and then i did another piece with masking tape where i masking taped just blocked off the general shape of a crane onto a watercolor piece and then with a palette knife again just doing like a kind of thick mixy layer of tape and then i took that masking tape off and put it onto another piece that was kind of like the opposite inverted version of it and then there was this other artist that i looked at and then i kind of did a bunch of shapes for some of them i used actual like nets like the little star one there which one i left unfolded to kind of create this abstract shape from something that was actually a shape sort of thing and then other ones i just kind of folded and one was a piece of scrap paper that i just kind of like scrunched up and then looked at how it looks sort of thing. so that was that bit of the project and then i did diamonds which i'm not gonna lie they so remind me of the little diamonds in um spyro <laughs> I, re I really want to make like you can get like that kind of like colored transparent acrylic and i really want to do some with that to like make little ones it looks so cool <laughs> but anyway i'm rambling but i did this diamond one where like i looked at the kind of machine made color on one side and then i painted on the other and then kind of open windows so you could see in and see the contrast between the two and then other ones I, I did a bunch of them and then painted them kind of different colors on each kind of segment and then put them together basically <laughs> so I did like it but I definitely like the kind of less uniform on their top one I definitely prefer the one where they're kind of like all at different kind of sides and I don't know I think it looks a lot nicer than just like all uniform okay <laughs> For this one I did, so I folded up a crane and then I just kind of added wings to it. I kind of wish I'd been able to kind of explore that a little bit more, but I was coming up towards the end of the project and I was like, right, <laughs> I need to figure out what I want to do for my final and I decided to do an umbrella. I did have another idea though, at the end I was thinking of doing like almost like a mobile, but like by having these cranes on it with the kind of wings and doing other things as well. But to be perfectly fair, I would have really liked to have been able to do a paper dragon as well, which I tried to do, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I also did a line drawing as well, just to show what it was supposed to look like, because I do want to use that kind of like look, and I did use it in my final, so but yeah. <laughs> paper dragons are hard. There's a lot, a lot of folding with them. I think I would need actual like thin paper, so maybe I might give it a go with like newsprint or something and see if that would work. Because it might end that I might be able to kind of do my own version of my own final project for what I wanted to do, but it doesn't matter. And then I also did a piece where I did, again, thinking of like the line drawings, um, I did some line drawings of a crane and then pulled it up into a crane, which I thought was kind of cool. And then, because I decided to do an umbrella, I tried folding up the piece of the paper first and then kind of painting onto it so you could still kind of see like the moon and stuff, because I knew if I did anything in the middle is probably going to get folded up into so you probably wouldn't even be able to see the moon but <laughs> I decided I would still prefer kind of that idea of folding things up into the origami than just like straight up having it that way sort of thing. Right so for my final as you can see there's the pieces laid out like before I actually folded them together but I kind of took some from the kind of word experimentation I did and then obviously the moon and I separated the clouds <laughs> into a different piece and then I did the drawing with the cranes, but I kind of just did them all together, which I think really, it really worked because you could still see a lot of the lines and stuff like that. Whereas with the dragon one, you could see only like the head and part of the wing, <laughs> which did work out because I was able just to stick other pieces to the top plain ones and have like the two bits that actually showed anything at the bottom. So it still worked out. Some of them I did deliberately keep quite, quite plain so I could kind of stick over them and not feel like I was hiding too much. But yeah, I think it turned out well. I would definitely say maybe next time I would actually use just normal paper for the stock because I felt it kind of just, it went kind of weird, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like it could sort of add to the piece in a way. <laughs> it's not perfect, so I don't know. I didn't actually stick cotton balls down. Actually, in the background here. I didn't actually stick the cotton balls down. I just kind of placed them in it and then just took a photo of it because I just wanted to see how it would look. And I didn't want to spend too much time doing it because I was running out of daylight and I wanted to get the photo taken to that day, so. But that was basically my final project. I enjoyed it. I definitely think, though, when I was getting kind of the cheering sessions from the brief, it does say, like, colour and the word, like, you're looking at words as well. But they didn't really emphasise that, I feel like. Particularly with my project, like, I did, someone else on the Discord was like, oh yeah, you should have that in there because I was brought up on it each time. 
they were like, oh, you need to do this, by the way. But for some reason, they didn't with me. I don't know what was going on there, but I don't know. It definitely is annoying because I have good I, I feel like I have like good ideas right after I've like finished my presentation and I'm like, I could have done this thing. No, and it would have looked so good. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I can keep them in mind for future things. To be honest, I almost wish that there was a little project at the end that would literally like if there's something that you wanted to like continue on then you can continue it on for like a week or something that might have been interesting but i suppose it's just down to like time and stuff like that anyway i need to start getting fully ready to go because i'm not but i will see you guys later i hope you enjoyed because this is the end of the video so this is it for the first semester i should think about it there'll still be another video of some stuff that i'll be doing because there's still some like not necessarily uni related but arguably uni related work i need to do so I'll be doing that. I will film probably later on today if I have time, <laughs> but like, subscribe, yada yada yada. Goodbye. <laughs>